Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really simple program which involves the color sensor. So let's go ahead and open up a new project. Or if you guys want, you could go ahead and open up a new program. Alright, so let's begin with a loop. So this loop, it infinitely just loops whatever is in this area. So in that area, let's add a move steering block. Okay, now in smooth steering block, over here are all the different types of measurements you can use. There's seconds, degrees, rotations, but right now we're just going to leave it on so it keeps spinning. I'm going to go ahead and make the speed 40. Okay, now we have our loop. This is going to spin forever. Whoops. Because that's nothing to worry about. Now we have to figure out how to end our loop. And for that, we're going to use the color sensor. So here are all the different ways to end your loop. So I'm going to go over here in color sensor and choose color. And I'm going to go with red. Okay, so what happened is this loop is going to keep looping. The robot's going to keep moving forward. And when it senses a red line or red color on the ground, it's going to go on over here. So after it senses the red line, let's go ahead and add a large motor. And this is the action motor. And I will go ahead with, I'll use rotations for this. And I'm going to go with the speed of 100. And we'll go with half the rotation. And then I will add another rotation block. And I will go at a speed of 100. And then I will go at half rotation again. Okay, so what happens? Oh, I also want to make this motor move backwards first. So what's going to happen is once it senses once the, ro the robot's going to keep moving, once it senses a red line, the aim motor will move up and then move back down. Oh, and I just forgot to change this port to port A. There we go. This is great for things like hitting a bowling ball into pins or robo soccer. And I will show you a demo of this program right afterwards.